but you also know something about the literature in this area and the research. And as you know, of course, there's an association between uh, pet ownership and pet companionship and good health in a lot of different realms. But I've, I've, I've wondered about the, that association and whether, is it, whether we can really see a, a true cause and effect because after all, pet owners and people who have pets as companions are sort of a self-selected group. So maybe it's a healthy group that selects into owning a pet. So how do we tease that apart? How do we know that it's the effect of the animal's companionship that makes a difference? Yeah, that's a great question, Peter. And that's one that our writing group wrestled with a long time. Uh, obviously, by necessity, most of the uh, data uh, that is out there are more uh, registry studies or observational studies or retrospective studies. It is uh, hard to randomize uh, people to uh, own a pet or not own a pet. So we had that in mind when we looked at the data. And um, what we found is that, yes, most of it is not randomized, but most of it was very good quality data. Uh, many tried to control for as many things as they could. And uh, the data seemed pretty consistent, including in some uh, meta-analyses. There also are uh, several randomized trials where they looked at people uh, interested in adopting pets and they randomized them to either adopt the pet or to defer on adopting the pet. And they looked at parameters such as uh, blood pressure, uh, reaction to uh, stress and uh, parameters such as that. And in those modest studies, uh, those who were randomized to adopting the pet right away uh, did better as far as reaction to stress, blood pressure and other things. So yeah, as we clearly stated in our scientific study, there is not definitive data on this, but there's a really good amount of very good data that makes the association uh, seem likely to actually be causative, at least to some extent. So you in your career have thought and written and discussed um, drugs a lot and different sort of interventions. So with pets, what do you think the mechanism of action is in terms of creating good health? Well, the most obvious mechanism was that when you own a dog, uh, you tend to uh, do more physical activity. And there were some very good studies that not surprisingly clearly documented that. And we know regular physical activity uh, helps the heart and helps the body as a whole. It also seems that uh, owning a dog decreases mental stress, which we know more and more can contribute to bad, uh, bad heart health. And it also may have a lot of other indirect uh, benefits. Uh, if people are more invested in staying healthy, such as to uh, take care of their uh, pet, it's possible they may uh, be more likely to see the doctor regularly, get screening tests and take their medications. And there are a couple other mechanisms uh, we uh, looked at also, uh, a little more esoteric things like uh, vascular and endothelial function and, and the like. So maybe pet ownership sort of puts you into a routine and therefore you maybe uh, get into a routine, you're, you're more likely to get into a routine in terms of taking care of your own health. Yeah, and no, I think that is definitely a part, part of the benefit. Um, you know, not to call out uh, something else, but we just published a scientific statement on psychological health. And things like happiness, optimism, um, and other positive affects clearly impact people's health. And certainly I think most dog owners would agree that uh, having a dog uh, improves one's mental health. All right, Bella, okay, okay. So I actually wanted to ask, um, have you prescribed uh, pet ownership or have been tempted to, or um, do you ever ask patients about their pets? So I certainly ask patients about their pets or more often they uh, bring it up when we're in cardiology clinic and I ask them things like, uh, what kind of activities are you doing? How far are you walking? They'll uh, mention their pet. And then certainly I'll always uh, ask more about the, uh, the pet, ask to see pictures and then we'll compare uh, um, pet stories. So we do certainly talk about 
uh, pets a lot uh, when I see patients in clinic. Uh, one thing I do not do, and we specifically call this out in our, our scientific statement, is we do not recommend people uh, go and adopt a pet just to improve their health. Uh, we still feel the main reason to adopt a pet is to give the, uh, the pet a loving uh, uh, home. Um, we don't want people to just uh, sit on the couch eating potatoes and smoking cigarettes uh, uh, all day and looking at the pet as the pet uh, wants to go for a walk.